Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get a basic, kind of a, like a fake surround sound system with four HomePods, HomePod minis, okay? Four HomePod minis. I got the game on, I'm using my Apple TV. As you can see, I got one there, I got one there. I put one over there in that corner, and then I put one over there in that corner. This is for a test, those are not their permanent spaces, right? But check it out. If you hold down the home button, uh, and you go into this section here, right? You can have access to all the different AirPlay speakers. You can, here, let me go that, let's do that again. I didn't realize. Okay, go there and you get access to all your home HomePod uh, speakers, right? Your AirPlay speakers. Okay, so the first ones, those are my standards. Those are my ones left and right. This one, I just named a bedroom because one of the speakers was up in the bedroom. The other one is in my studio. I decided to mess around and, and pair them together, okay? And then this here is my airport. This is an old school airport device that I have going to the subwoofer, okay? So now I have options of all three devices and I'm gonna show you really quickly how it sounds. This is just my front speakers, okay? Now, let me show you that. Now my surround speakers are out. They're technically not surround, but you do have to remember that when you pair them, that when you normally pair the first two that are connected to your TV, that that is your left, right? So when you pair the other ones, if you want them behind you, reverse them and make sure that that now is paired as your left speaker so that the left signal coming out of there comes out left and behind you left. So it's gonna be the same signal, obviously. It's not a true surround sound, but it does fill the, fill the heck out of the room. So, and then if I shut that off and I just put on myself. Gator light. You can, the the subwoofer is going on. Okay? You can't, so that's why there's no crisp any. All you're hearing is the sub. So now I engage the main speakers and my surround speakers. And, and for some reason, they just automatically joined in the same pocket. Like your, your default ones, your default ones will go um, by themselves. And then your, anything else you add will all go to the same, you know, folder really. So now we're going to turn the air up, get a surround crank in. We'll walk here. Crank my sub up. And now, when I turn my volume up and down, my main, it shuts off everything. Everything goes off, everything goes down. Quick release deep in the corner. So. So, like I said, it's a fake surround sound system. You know, it's not true 5.1 or whatever like that. But it's pretty damn cool for if you have a couple of HomePods minis lying around the house, if you have four of them. Like, I always have the two underneath the TV anyway. Um, and then I connect the subwoofer. And it's more than enough for watching basic stuff. But if you want to have that cooler bigger, fuller sound, throwing on, throwing two other HomePods um, in the stereo pack and then putting them behind you left and right actually makes a really cool, uh, a really cool fake, you know, surround sound until the, until they, you know, mess with their software and allow you to use HomePod minis as true surround sound. This is a good uh, workaround.